Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session we will talk about what is FSSAI which stands for Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. However, before we begin let's take a quick look at the key takeaways of this session. At the end of this session you will be able to understand what is FSSAI, what is FSSAI Act 2006, what are the various functions of FSSAI, some of the important initiatives taken up by FSSAI. Challenges for FSSAI Types of licenses issued by FSSAI Steps for FSSAI registration Documents required for FSSAI registration And the last one is benefits of FSSAI license So let's begin our discussion and talk about what is FSSAI license FSSAI full form is the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India it is an autonomous statutory body that maintains the food safety and standards in India. FSSAI is administered by the Ministry of Health Family Welfare. The body is functional as per the Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. The Food Safety and Standards Authority of India FSSAI, was set up in 2008 for the proper monitoring of food hygiene and the quality in India. It was functional from 2011 and ever since has been responsible for managing food safety in our country. The FSSAI has its headquarters at New Delhi. The authority also has six regional offices located in Delhi, Guwahati, Mumbai, Kolkata, Cochin and Chennai. The FSSAI is a vast umbrella organization under which numerous prior laws, rules and guidelines pertaining to food safety and integrated. The Act consolidates the following seven older laws. 1947 Vegetable Oil Products Control Order 1954 Prevention of Food Adulteration Act 1955 Fruit Products Order 1967 Solvent Extracted Oil, De-Oiled Meal and Edible Floor Control Order 1973 Meat Food Products Order 1988 Edible Oils Packaging Regulation Order and the last one is 1992 Milk and Milk Products Order. It ensures that food products go through the quality checks so that there is decrease in food degradation and sale of substandard products. FSSAI is also responsible for the registration and licensing of the food businesses operators FBO in India and manages the rules and regulations for running food businesses in India. Now let's move forward and know that what is FSSAI Act 2006. The Food Safety and Standards Act 2006 states an act to consolidate the laws relating to food and to establish the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India for lying down science based the standards for articles of food and to regulate their manufacture, storage, distribution, sale and import to ensure availability of safe and wholesome food for human consumption and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. A few other acts were also implemented. But the government passed the FSS Act in 2006, which was an amalgamation of all the terms and regulations mentioned in the other acts combined together. We will now understand the various functions of FSSAI. Following functions are performed by the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Setting Rules and Guidelines FSSAI sets up rules and guidelines which need to be followed by all food manufacturing companies, keeping into consideration hygiene and food safety. Granting License To pursue any food related business, the owner needs to get certificate and license with the permission of FSSAI. Test to the standard of food. The standard and quality of food manufactured by all companies registered under FSSCI is done by the organization themselves. Regular audits. Proper inspection is done for food producing and manufacturing companies to ensure the standards are at par with the guidelines. Spreading food safety awareness. It is then responsibility of FSSAI to spread awareness and inform the citizens about the importance of food and hygiene food consumption. Maintain records and data. FSSAI also has the responsibility to maintain proper records 
and data of all the registered organizations. Any violation of rules prescribed by FSSCI can lead to the termination of the license. Keeping the government updated. Any food safety related threat must be informed to the government authorities for further action. Also, assist them in framing food standard policies. Let us move forward and know about some of the important initiatives taken up by FSSAI. Many important initiatives have also been taken by FSSAI, keeping in mind food safety and standards. Following are few of these important initiatives are Eat Right India. The aim is not just to provide food to one and all, but to provide quality food to everyone. With this initiative, FSSCI intends to make good quality food accessible to every citizen of the country. Clean Street Food. This involves training the street food vendors and making them aware of the violations as per the FSS Act 2006. This will also help in the social and economic uplift of street food vendors. Diet for Life. This is another initiative taken by FSSAI to spread awareness about metabolic disorders. Save food, share food, share joy. Encouraging people to avoid food wastage and promote food donation. Through this, FSSAI intends to connect food collecting agencies with the food producing companies and share the food with the ones in need. Apart from this, the first ever World Food Safety Day was celebrated on June 7, 2019 by FSSAI acknowledging the contribution of states, food businesses and individuals in maintaining food safety. We will now discuss about some of the challenges that FSSAI need to overcome. There are certain challenges which are to be overcome by FSSAI. Proper laboratories for testing the quality of food need to be organized by the organization. Arranging qualified manpower to test and approve the standard of food being manufactured. Re-evaluating the regulations and the terms as per international standard. Gaining funds to get advanced technologies. Ensuring proper licensing of every food manufacturing individual or business. Once the government of India and FSSCI overcome these shortcomings, the organization is capable of regulating and maintaining the food safety standard in all parts of the country. So let us now learn about the types of licenses issued by FSSCI. FSSCI in India issues the following three types of license. FSSCI Registration Central License. Companies operating as importers in the food business or export oriented business, large manufacturers, operators in the central government agencies, ports or airports, etc. need to have central license issues by FOSCOS, FSSAI. This license is issued by the central government. A company in a food business needs to have a license for the head office in case it is operational in different states or cities. This license is for the FBOS having an annual turnover of rupees 20 crore. It is issued for 5 years and at least for 1 year. FSSCI registration state license. This license is for SMES. Light transport, storage house, transport, distributors, marketers, etc. This license is issued by the state government. The company must have its operations in only one state. The business must have an annual turnover of rupees 2 lakh. The license is issued for 5 years and a minimum of 1 year. FSSAI basic registration license. This license is issued by the state government and is given to small manufacturers, storage units, transporters, marketers and distributors. The company has an annual turnover of rupees 12 lakh. The license issues for a period of 5 years and a minimum of 1 year. We will now move forward and discuss about the steps for FSSAI registration. There are certain formalities that one needs to fulfill before going ahead for a food license in India. We have divided this section into the following. FBO needs to submit for a basic registration and FBO has a turnover of less than 12 lakh rupees. 
and form B for FBOs having a turnover of less than rupees 20 crore. Moreover, it takes 7 days for the validation and verification of information. Additionally, once the application is accepted, the applicant will get the registration certificate which will have the registration number and the photo of the applicant. This certificate has information like place of business and operation time. Let us now discuss about the documents required for the FSSCI license registration. Documents for FSSCI license registration are address proof, identity proof, list of food categories, layout plan, details of all the equipment, passport photograph, NOC form municipality, MOA and AOA, import export code and the last one is water test report. And finally let us now discuss the benefits of FSSCI license. The benefits of FSSCI license are the first one is it will provide legal benefits. The second one is helps in building goodwill. Third one is ensures food safety. The fourth one is it will help in regulating storage, sale or import of food, manufacturer etc. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. In case you have any questions regarding today's topic then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.